Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Renee. Thank you so much for uh, stopping by my channel today. Um, I'm back with my twin sister, Rochelle. Hi, I'm Rochelle Sweetser with Sweets Party Treats. And I'm jealous of her leopard top. We, we are leopard junkies. It's in her hair too. I went in and went, oh, I want that too. Um, anyway, I'm at Rochelle's house today. Uh, she lives and breathes cookies. Cookies, kids, horses, and, and back to cookies. back again and, and repeat. So um, anyway, I said, let me come on over. I want to see what you're doing. Um, drives me crazy because then I want to eat cookie dough. Um, such is life. Anyway, we're going to watch Rochelle, a couple of things with her cookies. I will put the link down below for her Instagram and it's just a great place to stop by and look at the different things that she's done. She does custom work, so you can message her on Instagram. Um, if there's any sp thing specific that you want that you're not seeing on her Instagram uh, feed and, um, and make a request. So anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about what it's like to be twins. I've been getting questions, um, and we've had questions our whole life what's it like to be twins and and things like that we both have I have four kids Rochelle has four kids three girls one boy and I have three boys and one girl <laughs> as as our life has been growing up I lose a tooth she loses a tooth on the other side yeah. um, things like that so with today what are you making today okay so I have some we're in Southern California so of course, we're close to Disneyland, so my biggest request are Disney cookies. <laughs> so I happen to have two birthdays this week, both wanting Disney cookies. So here I have the number yeah, two right. cookie cutter you with can go closer to Rochelle. okay with the ears, and then I also have the number four cookie cutter. So I'm doing a birthday mini uh, number two and a birthday mini number four. So these will be pink and white polka dot with black ears. I'm gonna have to do research on who manufactured these cookie cutters. I got them years ago at a little cake expo. Um, so I will have to research where to get these cutters because these are amazing. I have them in number zero through nine and it's the most popular cookie uh, yeah. request that I so have. You so you can essentially do any number. You could do any number. These are on Rochelle's Instagram. Um, if you wanna um, scoot over there and check out what they actually look like, I'll follow her through the process today as much as I can. Um, all right, so go ahead. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to start with, um, my dough is already rolled out. I've refrigerated it for a couple of hours. I made it fresh this morning, refrigerated it. I do have some laid out. Um, I like this um, rolling pin because I can switch out the dials to uh, make my dough consistent. So this is the um, consistency that I like. It's already rolled out. So I'm gonna start cutting my cookies, which um, I'm not gonna flip the camera around right now, you guys. Basically, she's got um, just laid out the cookie dough and um, pressing into it with her uh, cookie cutter. Um, yeah, we live about 30 minutes uh, south of Disneyland. I actually have a son who works there or is on furlough right now. Um, so, but we know Disney is loved. About that. <laughs> That's so cute. Disney is loved everywhere um all right let's let's Rochelle let me ask you a couple yeah, of questions twin I mean, talk, I, yeah, twin we'll, talk we'll while do, I'm we'll putting do, dough we'll do twin talk while Rochelle bakes okay um I guess okay what's what's the most ridiculous question I think I know what's the most ridiculous question okay I don't know do you have the same birthday <laughs> yeah we do get that one a lot so do you have the same birthday do you have the same oh, birthday oh gee I don't know I, it's possible that somebody could be a twin and somebody could have a different birthday if one was born at, you yeah. know, 11.59 and the other was born yeah. after on the next day. But I guess that's if, rare. if she feels pain, do you feel pain? Yeah, that's one. We have had that happen actually a couple of times. Yeah. Uh, won't get well, into details, yeah, but yeah, have. we have had that happen a couple of times. And I, not like, not minor pain, but usually labor something. Pain. Like labor pain type yeah. stuff. Kid related kid related yeah stuff. I think another question that we get asked a lot I had my kids um, I was young when I when I started having kids and well, we, both um, we, we both were and so my kids were also with Rochelle a lot we it, it's weird I think probably as parents especially when our kids are really really little but we spent a lot of time together so I almost feel like they almost feel like more your, your kids than maybe a niece and a nephew would yeah I think so um, 
I, I don't know how to explain that. We, we have other siblings with children. I think our kids feel more like siblings. But there's a, definitely cousins. a connection. Yeah, there's. <laughs> yeah. Good and bad. They have no problem kind of uh, saying how they feel. Mm -hmm. and, and um, what to do. Oh, I know. Popular question. Did you ever play tricks on boyfriends? Go ahead. Do you want to answer that? <laughs> no. You'll never know. <laughs> did we? I don't think we did. Shh, you'll never know. And I remember too when Dylan uh, was little, like a toddler. Maybe he was maybe two, pushing two, and he thought you were, he was coming down the hallway with a bottle in his mouth. Yes. And he, he mistook Rochelle for Molly. I'm sure that if I wasn't around or if she wasn't around, the other would suffice. Mm -hmm. um, but being a twin, I think we get asked a lot too, like, what's it like, do you like being a twin? Would you rather not be a twin? We don't, How do you know? we don't know. We don't know anything else but being a twin. I think probably one of the greatest, I think for, for me, speaking for myself, one of the greatest benefits growing up as a twin um, was that if we moved somewhere or if we, if we transitioned from, let's say, junior high to high school, you're, you don't ever feel alone. You have a little more of a self-confidence, sense of self-confidence going into any situation. Yeah, you'd never be alone at a picnic table. No, never. You, you always had somebody. Find your buddy. Yeah. Yeah, we always had a buddy. We had a built-in buddy. So that that's good. I th What else? Clothing? People ask us if we have the same taste in clothes. Yeah, we do. Similar. We very, don't. very similar. Sometimes we do and we yes, don't. sometimes no. Yeah, I mean, I think that we have, we love pink. Spark Crazy love pink. Sparkles. Crazy love sparkles. Obsessed with leopard print. Um, but she gets dressed up every day. I'm usually with horses and then with cookies. So I, too, I don't they're, they're totally. Just at work. <laughs> yes. I don't totally get dressed up every day because I'm You're still shoveling poop. Oh, okay. Well, the brushing horses. Aren't we all? Aren't we all shoveling? That's true. In some way? You're probably changing a diaper or Changing something. a diaper or it could be word minutia. True. You could be shoveling someone's verbal vomit. Yes. I know. just don't get dressed up for it. Yeah. And so I, I love to not get dressed up on the weekend because it, it at least pre-COVID, getting dressed up and hair and makeup and shoes. And I love all of it. I love all of it. But uh, I've kind of had an opportunity to let that go. Was that an earthquake or did you just hit your counter? No, my counter moves. Oh. All right, so now you've got your fours. So now I have my fours. I can't pop them in yet because I'm waiting seven more minutes for the number twos to pop out. But the number fours are ready, so they'll just sit here and I'll start the next tray, which is um, a couple of Halloween cookies for a customer. So I'm gonna do um, some candy corn and ghost. I have this really cute ghost cookie that has a tag that says 2020 is boo sheet. Yeah, I have that. I, I included that on my video. I'll put okay. that down below too. But I did go visit Rochelle at the farmer's market and showed a couple of your cookies. That was one of them. Um, what do you think about, okay, so twins are very, uh, typically very connected. I mean, they even say where if twins were separated at birth, um, ironically, they will find somehow they live not too far from one another, yeah. or there are a lot of consistencies. They'll marry someone, a spouse has right. the same name yeah. as the other spouse, or they need oh, their children. Oh, it's just not on me. Both our husbands' names start with M. Okay, oh. yeah, that's, I never thought of that. That's first initial M. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they look totally different. <laughs> Mine's a totally different nationality, so... <laughs> You know, they say as you as you age with your spouse, you look more and more like them. That will never happen no. to me. She's not going to turn Filipino. I will not turn Filipino. I will never have the same color skin as, as him either. Um, so, Rochelle and I, for 10 years, lived on opposite coasts. I lived back east, and uh, Rochelle obviously was here in Orange County. Um, it was a good thing. Rochelle and I are both early birds, so I could... <laughs> Rochelle would be awake early, so if it was three hours later there, she was almost always awake. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I could always call Rochelle. We probably did talk probably almost every day. Yeah. This is um, what they look like coming out of the oven. These are the mini or the ears, uh, the Disney ears in two and four. What are these circles? 
those something are just else. Be confetti. Oh, confetti. Oh, okay. So, um, what's it called, Rochelle? Flooding? Royal icing. Okay, oh, royal so icing. I'll take it over from here. Okay. So, <laughs> what, so, what I started with, this is my batch of royal icing. This is what it looks like when I've mixed it. It's pretty thick. I take out small batches um, mm. and mix with water to get what's called flood consistency. Okay. And that's what's already in the bags here. I just wanted to share with you the food coloring that I use. I get asked you that have a, a lot. I do have a favorite. You can get it um, on Amazon. Okay, so what I've done is I've already outlined um, the fours. I started flooding a couple with a wet on wet technique so okay. we can come back to a finishing um, look on that one. But let okay. me show you what I'm gonna start with. So I've already cut these bags, so I need to wipe the tip. And I'm going to go along the inside of the border and fill in. Some people like to keep following that same line. Uh -huh. um, I don't have the patience for that. I just do it once and then I start filling in, filling in, and I use my bag with gentle uh -huh. pressure to fill in as I go. And I'm just doing some dots. This is called a wet on wet technique. Okay, so you can see that it's already starting to melt into the background. It does, it kind of settles in. And that is called the wet on wet technique. Okay. So I've already done the other fours and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna do the ears, excuse me, while I wipe this okay. up. Okay. So I'm just gonna cross over, make my ears. We all know what those ears look like. Okay. Let that sit for a second. I'm gonna go to the next one. So this is called outlining. And you want to have an outline set for, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds. It, feel, it forms a little crest on the top. That way, oh. when you come back, it's a little bit of a barrier. So, so it doesn't bleed. So it doesn't bleed off the side. You can see this is really simple. And I tell everyone, you know what, just practice and have patience and you will get to perfection. Okay, if you don't, or you, you do what I do and you message Rochelle to make them for you. That's what I do. That's true. And then I would let this sit overnight. Okay. It needs to dry thoroughly, which is gonna take about 10 to 12 hours before you put them in a cellophane bag and a ribbon. This is really cute um, oh, for teachers. Here is the option for a boy version of what Rochelle is putting together right now. So also known as Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Um, but girls love Mickey too. I shouldn't, you know, obviously. Um, but if you had a birthday party and you wanted boy and girl cookies, you could do Minnie and Mickey. Um, this is a gumball machine, which she can do all year round for Halloween. She changed out the colors of the gumballs and put a little spider in there. Okay, this is one of my favorites, and I think the thing that I got most excited about when Rochelle started doing her custom cookies a number of years ago, and that is um, the, the, the paintable, what do you call them? Paint your own cookie. Paint your own cookie. So there is a paintbrush, you use water, that's colored frosting and um, your kids can paint their own cooking. She does them for Easter, Christmas, Thanksgiving. Custom designs. So custom designs, birthdays. Some people do a version of paint your own cookies, but they use a pre-purchased template and I hand draw the designs on each cookie. So I can literally do any custom image. So that's what sets mine apart from some of the other options out there. Anyway, you guys, thanks for watching. Uh, we always appreciate you stopping by my channel. I will link Rochelle's YouTube channel down below as well, her Instagram, my Instagram. Uh, we love staying connected with you. Let us know if you have any twin questions. Twin questions, twin questions. Um, God bless you. Make it a wonderful day, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, guys.